Hello and welcome back to another episode of Video Game Easter Eggs. The series where we take a look at some of the latest and not so latest Easter eggs in video games with the only rule being they cannot have been featured on my channel before. In today's episode we get the feeling we're being watched in Phasmophobia, we visit a very familiar hallway in Far Cry 6 and we summon a giant skeleton dinosaur in Plants vs Zombies Battle for Neighborville. As always if you think you know of an Easter egg that I'm yet to cover then the best places to let me know are in the comment section or on my social media accounts the links to which are in the description oh and before we get started i'd like to thank the sponsor of today's video rec room Rec Room is a free-to-play game that cross-plays across the iPhone, iPad, Android, PS4, PS5, Xbox, Steam, and more. It's probably best to think of Rec Room as a giant virtual world, where you can journey on an epic quest in search of a golden trophy, or just chat with other players. Rec Room lets you play how you want. It claims that it's the best place to build and play games together, and it's probably hard to argue with that claim. As mentioned, Rec Room is fully cross-play, so if a friend has Rec Room, you can play with them no matter what device you or they have, which is awesome. Oh, and of course, the best part of all is that Rec Room is free, so make sure to use my link in the description to download it today, and who knows what you'll find. Once again, a huge thank you to the guys at Rec Room for sponsoring today's video. Don't forget to use my link in the description to download the game. Not only will you be entering a universe of near endless possibilities, but you'll also be helping to support this channel in the process. Again, a big thank you to Rec Room, and without further delay, Let's get started. So let's begin with the game of the year contender, that is I Am Fish. Okay, I'm joking, but I Am Fish is a pretty decent game and well worth a play, especially if you have Game Pass. Now, I Am Fish is developed by Bosa Studios. That's the same guys behind Surgeon Simulator, the soon to be released Pigeon Simulator and I Am Bread. Oh, and I'm not joking by the way, Pigeon Simulator is actually a thing. Well, it turns out that the guys at Bosa Studios aren't ones to forget their past, as during the third level of I Am Fish, you can find this. So this kitchen is the exact same kitchen that featured in level one of I Am Bread. Even the music is the same. It's a really nice callback to the developers past work. Oh, and it turns out that it's not just Bosa Studios that are fond of I Am Bread. What you are currently watching is Deer Simulator. It's a game where well, where you play as a deer with one hell of a running technique. Well, if you start to get bored of being a deer, first of all, I'd question why you bought a game called Deer Simulator in the first place. And secondly, you can do this. So you can hop into a toaster and become the piece of bread from I Am Bread. Which, when you think about it, doesn't make sense, as toast comes out of a toaster, not bread. But then again, who am I to question the logic of a game where you play as a deer with guns? Next up is the ever-evolving Apex Legends, with the return of a familiar green friend. The 2nd of November saw the release of the Escape update, that along with a new legend, also included a new map. Now, as is almost customary with a new Apex map, this bright and colourful location is hiding a cuddly toy. At this location on the map, you can find this. Ring closes in a minute. No time to waste. Yep, it's another Nessie plushie, though this one is also accompanied by a picture of a pretty adorable dog which has featured in past Apex 
6 maps. So this week saw the release of the first piece of DLC for Far Cry 6. This DLC sees you put in the shoes of series favourite Vars as he battles to regain control of his mind. It ditches the usual and somewhat tired Far Cry formula and instead plays more like a roguelike, where you progress, die, progress a bit more, die and so on. It's kind of cool that Ubisoft decided to try something new with this DLC though, and it definitely makes me more excited than I was for the other Far Cry 6 expansions. Now, despite being a new spin on the Far Cry formula, not everything in the DLC is new. Earlier in the year, in Watch Dogs Legion as part of the Bloodlines DLC, players could find a reference to PT, the now delisted Silent Hills demo that was released in 2014. Well, it turns out that someone at Ubisoft is really, really, really fond of PT, as when playing through the vast DLC, you can find this. Fuck yeah, this reminds me of the game. Wait, 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 what's not that the trailer with the with the hallway what the f ever happened to that so if this reference wasn't already obvious enough Vars even mentions that the hallway reminds him of that unreleased game which is of course a nod to pt the penultimate easter egg for today's video comes from plants vs zombies battle for neighborville now official support for the game ended in 2020 though strangely a Nintendo Switch version was released in March 2021. Now, just because official support for the game has ended, that doesn't mean there aren't still things to find in PVZ. At Giddy Park, if you play a certain song on the piano, this will happen. Yep, that is a giant skeletal dinosaur just popping in to say hi. Now, whilst it's hard to make out in game, the song that's being played on the piano is The Entertainer. You know, this one. Quite why that's the song that summons a severely malnourished dinosaur is anyone's guess, but it's still a really cool easter egg. So to end today's video, let's take a look at the extremely spooky Phasmophobia. Built as an investigative horror game, Phasmophobia sees you take on the role of a ghost hunter who must track and identify a ghost at various different locations. The most recent update to the game introduced a new location to ghost hunt in. The nightmare update added the campsite map, which takes place at well, it takes place at a campsite. Now, in terms of spooky settings, a campsite has to be right up there with the spookiest of them all. But the first Easter egg can actually be found in the game's lobby. Fully explorable, the lobby isn't the nicest place to be. But if you're curious, you can take your time and explore the room. However, you may start to feel like you're being watched. Well, take a look up. So hiding in the rafters is a mysterious figure with some really creepy eyes that are firmly fixed on you. I'm not sure if there's a backstory to this figure or not, so if you know who or what this is, then please let me know. Right, let's leave the lobby and head to the campsite. First up is a reference to a classic horror movie. So this stick figure is the same stick figure seen in the found footage horror movie, The Blair Witch Project. The next horror movie reference can be found near the lake. So walking to the end of the pier will cause Jason Voorhees' mask to float to the surface. Of course, Jason, water and campsites have a very long history together. The final and by far the coolest easter egg in Phasmophobia requires a very keen eye. If you look into the woods, there is a chance that you will see this. Thank you. 
Yep, that is Slenderman, just casually watching you go about your ghost hunting business. As I said, this is a really cool easter egg, especially for players who didn't know about it beforehand and randomly spot him in the woods. So that's it. As mentioned, if you know of any easter eggs that I'm yet to cover, then the best places to let me know are in the comment section or on my social media accounts, the links to which are in the description. Remember, if you are a fan of easter egg secrets and tiny details in games, then perhaps consider subscribing as that's what this channel is all about. Thank you all very much for watching and I'll speak to you all soon.